Hi, my name is Nancy Scazzari, Senior Environmental Planner with Queen Anne's County Department of Planning and Zoning. We're talking to you today from Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center, or better known as CBEC. We're here to talk to you about critical areas. As an environmental planner here in Queen Anne's County, I help work with creating new regulations, working on alternative language for state critical area regulations that work more consistently with the characteristics of Queen Anne's County. I also assist property owners in creation and the permitting of their buffer management plans. When they have a development activity that is regulated and requires a buffer management plan, it's often a cumbersome task for an individual property owner to realize just exactly what they have to do to establish the buffer on a newly subdivided lot or mitigate for impacts that may affect the buffer. I'm always happy to help people with their plant selection, with coming up with a creative solution, access to the water, and helping to, them to afford water views. The Chesapeake Bay critical areas is all lands within a thousand feet of the Chesapeake Bay tidal wetlands or its tidal tributaries. Within that thousand feet is a more critical zone, which is the hundred foot buffer. There are some characteristics which may increase this buffer to 200 feet or more, not to exceed 300 feet. But that 100 foot buffer is the most critical area. It's the area of most immediate and direct impact to our tidal waters on the Chesapeake Bay. These characteristics include highly erodible soils, hydric soils, non-tidal wetlands, and steep slopes. Also, your lot may be either grandfathered or exempt from the 100-foot buffer regulations altogether. If you're fortunate enough to live within the critical areas, the 1,000 feet of the Chesapeake Bay, and have that 100-foot buffer along the shoreline, there are certain obligations that you have as a homeowner. Namely, there is no disturbance within that 100-foot buffer. Vegetation is to be protected. The objectives and the goals of the Chesapeake Bay critical areas are water quality, habitat protection, and to minimize the impact of human activity on the land. The 100-foot buffer is critical as it's the last stop before the bay and its tidal waters. That area is instrumental to filtering water, providing water quality and habitat protection. The 100-foot buffer is extremely helpful in, uh, in helping the county achieve its goals for the watershed implementation plan. That area is primarily left for vegetation only. The amount of nutrient uptake within the 100-foot buffer is critical to the health of the bay. In 2008, House Bill 1253 strengthened the regulations within the critical areas. These new regulations have worked to implement goals of the critical areas within that 100-foot buffer more so than it ever had been before. These new regulations enforce planting within the buffer by either establishing the buffer with new plantings or mitigating for plantings that have been removed and to control sediment runoff through shoreline stabilization. What the critical areas uh, regulations say is if you remove any vegetation you must put it back. Sometimes that's at a ratio of greater than one to one or, or an equal replacement depending on the activity of development. Any clearing, grading, uh, taking down of a tree or removal of invasives in the critical area 100 foot buffer is prohibited without a permit, without a buffer management plan. The importance of these plantings is for that nutrient uptake of nitrogen and phosphorus before it reaches the waters. Plants need these very nutrients to grow, but they're not the nutrients we want to see in our waters. Let's take a closer look at the 100 foot buffer, the vegetation, and how it can help with our county's watershed implementation plan. The importance of the 100 foot buffer to the critical areas is to allow for water quality, habitat protection, and to help alleviate the impact of development by human activity. A fully forested buffer in the critical area consists of many layers. Those layers include a ground cover or herbaceous layer, a small shrub, a large shrub layer, an understory tree layer, and a canopy tree layer. All these variety of plant layers help to do their part in nutrient uptake. The grassy or herbaceous layer does an amazing job of taking up nutrients such as phosphorus and nitrogen before they hit the water. Native bay grasses do wonders to help protect the shoreline from erosion control and wave action. 
These grasses not only provide habitat for, for rockfish, for crabs, the shrub plants or the woody vegetation do their part as well. Foliage takes up nutrients and uses it to help produce a stronger plant and, and help the plant survive. Canopy trees reduce soil erosion by slowing and capturing rainfall. They improve air quality by filtering dust and other pollutants and moderate, moderate temperatures by providing shade. Property owners can help protect the Chesapeake Bay critical areas by doing their part. Their part could be as simple as planting native vegetation either in the buffer or just outside the buffer within that thousand feet of Chesapeake Bay critical areas. You may want to disconnect roof drains and connect them into maybe a rain barrel, a bioretention area, rain garden or planting area. By reducing the amount of impervious surface, otherwise known as lot coverage, a homeowner can greatly help impact water quality. Living shoreline is the preferred method of erosion control. There are numerous publications available to help the property owner and the homeowner in selection of native plant species that they may want to plant in the critical area. The Green Book for the Buffer is available. Check out the Chesapeake Bay Critical Areas website and download the PDF. If you have any questions or would like more information about critical area buffers, feel free to call Queen Anne's County Planning and Zoning at 410-758-1255. For some answers to some frequently asked questions, feel free to log on to qac.org and go on to our critical area regulations page.